Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel, we're Dos Cavazos and today we are watching Interstellar. So this is a movie I have never seen, however Casey has. I love um, it. I love Christopher Nolan. Uh, he made obviously the Dark Knight trilogy, he's made Inception, he's made The Prestige which I really enjoyed, which I've actually been trying to get Casey to watch that movie as well too, so let us know if you want to see Casey react to that. And Interstellar is just one of the ones that seem to like have um, not slipped my radar because I did know that it existed, but I just... I guess never made the effort to go watch it. I remember going to see this movie with my parents in the theater and it was like so crazy seeing it in the theater. Like once you start watching it you'll understand what I mean, but like seeing it on the big screen was like an experience. It the, was awesome. The only thing I really remember from the trailers from way back when is that I think that it takes place in space or it goes to space at some point. Um, and then we obviously have Matthew McConaughey and I believe Anne Hathaway in it. Yeah, I'm not gonna say too much because I want to see his reaction for the first time just for everything and I'm just excited. This is like one of the few times where I've seen something that you haven't. So this is her dad? I'm assuming. Casey's not gonna tell me. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember. I don't remember the first part. So maybe that already happened to him? Is he dealing with it? Some PTSD? I thought you were the ghost. Isn't that Renesme? <laughs> I think that's Renesme. <laughs> I just remember her digital face on that friggin' baby. That friggin' demon baby. <laughs> you did my lander. It was me. Let me guess. It was your ghost. It knocked it off my shelf. Is that Timothy Shamalala? I can never say that. Shamalala. Shamalala. Be nice hmm. of that. Miss Hanley, she's single. Well, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Repopulating the earth. Start pulling your way, young man. Oh, she's oh. talking about your own business. That seems more than just like a, uh, you know, like I want you to move on, <laughs> get together. Like it seems like, you know, the it's like the end of the earth. So it makes me wonder, like, trying to get off the planet. Like, is humanity trying to get off the planet? Shut up! Grab and spare time. That is the spare. So did you hear that they call her Murph because of Murphy's Law? Mm. Like anything bad anything that, can that can go wrong, yeah. will, <laughs> anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Like no. me saying that fucking statement. <laughs> like it has a oh oh. Get in. Get in, let's go. I feel like there's a lot that I don't remember from this movie from the beginning part. <laughs> Drone. Solar cells power oh. an entire farm. Take the Are you trying to a take solar it? cell can power an entire farm? Right now. Stay on it. Here we go. Is he like hacking it? You almost got it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Dad! Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> you said don't stop! <laughs> I feel like common sense should have kicked in there. <laughs> I'm sure, like, crash it. <laughs> so they said this is from a different country? I think they said India, right? Hmm. Why did you put up there? Deli machine control, down same as ours, 10 years ago. Can't we just let it go? It wasn't hurting anybody. This thing needs to learn how to adapt, man. Like the rest of us. I'm confused now. I think it was like a AI type oh, okay. thing. Remember, because he had said, like, like their mission control went down around the same time mm. ours did a few years ago. Like ten, I think they said. I think I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think that's what she meant by that, honestly. Score simply isn't high enough. Oh, what? Thirty-two. I'm at thirty-three and see. I'm not sure I see what you're getting at. You're telling me it takes two numbers to measure your own ass, but only one to measure my son's future. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We didn't run out of television screens and planes. We ran out of food. The world needs farmers, good farmers like you and Tom. So they're like pushing the issue. Mm -hmm. Don't take farmers for granted. Mm hmm. Oh, 
Oh, I love books. <laughs> I just want a big bookshelf like that. In case Bill's trying to communicate. I'm trying Morse. Dots and dashes used to... I know what Morse code is, but I just don't think your bookshelf's trying to talk to you. So she thinks like a, a ghost, ghost is yeah. talking to her. Imagine a ghost doing Morse code. <laughs> <laughs> So this the doesn't dust. seem natural then. Like, Everybody's it's not like talking about the dust. Dust storms or something like that. Something's being caused, or something's causing this that isn't just like, I feel like, nature. Possibly. Summer. Check. If you go to like the panhandle of Texas, mm -hmm. you like get bad dust storms like this sometimes. Yeah. One time we got stuck in one and it was terrifying. I would not be tri trying to drive right now. I feel like I would just pull over and wait. That's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm missing something? I mean, oh, does wait. that look... <laughs> the way that it's like landing, yeah. That doesn't look like a normal dust yeah. flow pattern. It's not Morse, or if it's binary. Thick is one, thin is zero. Coordinates. Coordinates. But how are you getting coordinates? Who's giving you these coordinates? Like writing and driving? <laughs> oh, I thought he was like on the notebook. <laughs> no, she snuck in. <laughs> Who do you think is funny? Huh? You and me are both <laughs> me. He was like laughing too. Mm. Make yourself useful. <laughs> <laughs> like father, like daughter. Yeah. She gets it from you. You're an explorer. She wants to be too. Didn't you bring the bolt cutters? <laughs> she sees a gate and that's her first instinct. <laughs> How did you find this place? Mars? Where did my daughter? You had the coordinates for this facility. Mars! <laughs> what the fuck are they? Are they like mechs? How did you Ours? find this place? Mars? You had the coordinates for this facility. Tars. Where did you get those coordinates? Where's my dog? Is this an AI? Don't make me what take the? it down again. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Father, Professor Brand. We're NASA. Same NASA. You flew for. I guess this is like what became of them. Mm -hmm. What's left of them? Mm -hmm. Seven years ago. Okra. This year. Now <clears throat> there's just corn. So there's a lot of blights on all these produce. Mm. The last people to starve will be the first to suffocate. And your daughter's mm. generation will be the last to survive on Earth. Dang. Wow. So soon. Mm -hmm. You sent people out there looking for a new home? The Lazarus missions. Well, that sounds cheerful. Lazarus came back from the dead. Sure, but he had to <laughs> die in the first place. <laughs> Cooper, I can't tell you any more unless you agree to pilot this craft. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. So why didn't you seek him out earlier? <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> I wonder why. Out near Saturn. A disturbance of space-time. Had a wormhole. It appeared 48 years ago. Mm. It leads where? Another galaxy. <gasps> <gasps> like a gateway. A galaxy far, far away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the mission was to assess their world, and if it showed potential, then they could send out a signal, bed down for the long nap, wait to be rescued. So, did somebody send a signal? Moment. Hence the bravery. Mm -hmm. Oh, like They're nobody prepared would... to die, yeah. yeah. Dang. You yeah, that's what I'm saying. My kids. That's my plan Guess that's why it's plan B. Yeah. yeah, that's like save humanity at mm. any cost, I guess. Find us a new home. And by the time you return, I will have solved the problem of gravity. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> we've only been dealing with it for, I don't know, as long as we've existed. The ever. <laughs> home will be all right, but you've got to make things right with me. I will. Without making promises you don't know you can keep. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, that's a tough I one. Mean, like, he might like, never come back exactly. or whatever. I need to exist. Murphy chose me. You saw it. You're the one who led me to I regret it. <laughs> you should have left your window closed. <laughs> Either way, they have to be successful because we see the stories of the old people. <laughs> Which might be the young people of this generation. <laughs> oh, that's going to freak her out. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you should have said that. That was like the worst fucking thing you could have said. Why did you say that? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Oh. No. Uh, you're going decent me, you up until that point. Like, Murph. Like, I mean, I know that's mm. true, but. Yeah, Murph doesn't make me like this. I know that's true, but. And the sun and everybody else. Oh, that was very. Go check on that book. <laughs> <laughs> Seems important. Go check on the fucking book. Don't just leave. No! no. <laughs> Damn it! How would you not go check on the book? That gravity's trying to tell you something. Look after my kid, doll. Well, that's probably his last goodbye with him. <laughs> like, not trying to be morbid, but I he's know. a little old. <laughs> Aw, they're not going to say goodbye. Like a proper goodbye yeah. where they're not upset at each other. Well, I mean, I guess her being upset at him. Everybody good? Plenty of slaves from my robot colony? <laughs> like humor settings. We fit in better with this unit. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is handover to you. It's crazy. It makes me want to whisper. <laughs> <laughs> That's like so much stress. <laughs> I can't imagine having to yeah. fit it right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> this would give me like yeah. motion sickness. <laughs> I'm already getting dizzy just watching this. <gasps> if this should happen like in real life, then I would be one of the people having to be left on the earth to die. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't deal with the spitting. <laughs> Get vertigo and die. <laughs> mm. Gosh, that's some serious spinning, yeah. though. Like, dang. So it's just gonna spin the whole fucking time? I guess you just get used to it? Dang. So do they have to be, like, awake for it? Or can they be, like, you know, frozen, like, alien style? Is that what that is? Yeah, it is. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming. It looks like a tomb. <laughs> Tars. I don't know if I trust Tars. <laughs> Tars gonna be up to during these two years. You <laughs> wanted me to bring it for your brother. He sent you a message. Oh, oh Murph, no. I always Ooh, look. It looks oh cool. yeah. I like marble. I like in these movies that everybody has like a specialty. I always thought that was cool. <laughs> wow. It's crazy. It's freaky. How'd the others made it, right? <laughs> At least some of them. <laughs> <laughs> At least you help. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. This movie is really visually stunning. It's like they're traveling in light speed, like in Star Wars. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. That's interesting to look at. It's them. space time. Wait, it's what? Them? She get that checked out. <laughs> like, don't touch the space goo weeds, wavy ah. stuff. Landing there takes us dangerously close, and a black hole that big has a huge gravitational pull. So, could it in theory pull the planet in? Every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. Oh, shit. Dang. I'm stopping all the gargantua. Conserve fuel, minimize thrusting, and make sure we stay in range of Miller's planet. Got it? Crazy that there's people like on those planets. Well, a person. 
that I've just been there. Is that person alive? Like, if so much time has passed for them? Honestly, I don't remember. Like, a lot of this stuff is fuzzy to me. I'm gonna use the Ranger's aerodynamics to save some fuel. Air brake. I wanna get down fast, don't we? Actually, we wanna get there in one piece. So they're still going there to lose time, but it's just like the amount of time they're gonna spend there. Because if you spend time on that planet, you lose it. Mm -hmm. I think they're just trying to limit it, you know? So like one hour was seven years. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna spiral down on top of it. Everybody hang on. Oh my gosh. There's too much spinning involved in <laughs> space, space. <laughs> <laughs> travel, yeah. How is that supposed to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just shallow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're just going to put the landing gear down and then just freaking land on water? Go, 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 time. go, go. Seven years per hour here. Let's make it count. <laughs> Daughter's going to have multiple kids by the time <laughs> we get out of here. <laughs> go, Case, or are you Tars? I think they brought Case, right? Uh... Because Tars jokes too much. Yeah. <laughs> Signal's coming from here. This planet's not gonna fly. What the? Whoa. It's right under y'all. Oh, okay, leave, that's leave, wreckage. leave. They're dead. Next planet. Yeah, this wasn't. This planet's a bust. So, did they just crash and it was just the beacon was. Kept going off. You better fucking run. Oh Go my god. fucking back. It's literal water world. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you need to fucking hurry the hell up. Oh my gosh. We're not. Or I'm leaving y'all. Oh my but gosh, like fuck her data. Die. Her data sucks. This planet is not gonna be sustainable. Not with waves like that and no land. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. Case, go, Case! Oh, Case, why would you walk in like that from the get go? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> At least Case knows. <laughs> right, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Alright. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really getting stressed out. And I've already seen this freaking movie. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Oh Where was the hustle earlier? Why did he was going so fucking slow? <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, wow. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Come on, we don't need to lose anybody on the first fucking planet. We already lost a scientist. Oh my gosh, we lost him. Oh, fuck. Okay, he's dead. That's her. Well. Why? I feel like that didn't need to happen. Like, he was just, like, standing yeah, outside. You just lost somebody for that data. But he also, like, wasn't in. Like, why didn't you just go in, you know? <sighs> I mean, I think the way just hit there. Or was it just, just too windy or something? Oh, my gosh. Honestly, I'm surprised the ship even survived that yeah. crash. That's a massive freaking... Like, how would humanity survive on this planet? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's oh. what I'm saying. Why is the data even necessary? They're like, the surf's good here, bro. <laughs> I know, where's Johnny Tsunami? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and the question is, how long have y'all been here? <laughs> uh, I still say this is only an hour. So, seven years, maybe if you get out of here within the next... Yeah. You lost 14. And I told you! Why Get your you ass back here! The difference is one of us was thinking about the mission, right? Okay, you were thinking about getting home! Mm. Why would you leave, though, without the data, then? What was, what was the point, then? Yeah. I don't know. Judging by the wreckage, she was broken up by a wave soon after impact. Oh, so my how gosh. How wreckage stay together after all these years, huh? So it's like this planet was never... Yeah. Because of the time slippage. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. The initial status. Isn't that crazy? That is wild. And that's why they were receiving it this whole time, but it, like, wasn't. So if they actually went there the way that they were supposed to go there, they would have saved time and probably saved yeah. her. Yeah. Okay. They can't run back. Just can't. No, right? The only thing that can move across dimensions like time is gravity. <gasps> gravity. Solve gravity. Mm. 
Whatever the hell that means. Honestly, when they explain shit in this sh like movie or just like other things in general, I just go with it. I was like, I'm not gonna freaking. Like, yeah. I'm not the one to argue <laughs> with that logic, Science. with any logic <laughs> that you throw at me. <laughs> like I said, I get she wanted the data, but like this yeah. was not gonna be a viable planet in general. Like once you saw the wave, I would have been like, like okay, no she's way. dead. Like, like let's just go. Yeah. Now it must be. It's 23 years. Four months. 23. Years. 23 freaking years just for that little time that they were there. Yeah. They were probably there for like two and a half hours or something. Yeah. Or a little over. Gosh. Oh my gosh. That's like. Game. My gosh. I just like you this. Lost. Like, I'm sure your kids are good, but... I remember this, like, whole part, like, rocked my world. Like, 23 years, like... Oh! oh. It's so sad. Oh, my gosh. And he missed it all. And it's not like time went by for him. That's crazy that that fucking mistake. Yeah, it cost him 23 years. Mm. And then the other guy was here just like. <gasps> My birthday. And it's a special one because you told me. Oh, his age, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this would be a real good time for you to come back. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so freaking crazy. How long ago was this one sent? Yeah. Tell me that's current. And so it was 23 years and she was like... I don't know. Oh, he's still alive. I guess... Yeah, because yeah, she had yeah. asked. So, back to the fourth iteration. Let's run it through some new fields. Okay, new theory. His daughter is going to figure out gravity, whatever that mm. means. <laughs> the endurance, I really needed her. But the trip took years longer than we anticipated. We no longer have the fuel to visit both prospects, so... So you have oh. to pick one. So this planet was such a big mistake. Should have never fucking came here. He has a right to know. Oh, what happened? What does? It? What does it? No, yes it does. She's mm. in love with Wolf Edmonds. Is that true? Yes. Oh. oh. Well, I didn't know that's all. Oh, yeah. Was. I thought that she got the other guy killed. It's the one thing we're capable of perceiving that transcends dimensions of time and space. Maybe we should trust that, even if we can't. No, I don't trust you, so. <laughs> I mean, you only have one shot, so oh. like, I feel like we should really consider our options. Uh, of course with Dr. Mads. <laughs> oh, uh. so they're going to the other one. Uh, if only they would have done like the other plan yeah. where they went to the other two first. And then the it's, water world last. I don't want to call it funny, but it's kind of funny that, like, her fucking, like, decision, like, resulted in the fact that they couldn't go visit both. I have a friend who... <coughs> who look at his oh, mouth. my gosh. <laughs> so just because of, the like, dust? all the dust? Yeah. They said that they would be the last generation, so, like... It seems like it happens a lot. Yeah. It was no need for there was no need for him? Oh, like, does she not know about plan B? Is that what this is about? Thanks. She's got a few L's in yeah. succession. Like, freaking got somebody killed. Not gonna see your lover. Your dad died. Yeah. I mean, that's not what your dad went for. Mm -hmm. He wholeheartedly believed he could find yeah. plan A. But I don't know if it was like what he was trying to say, Michael Caine's character. Mm -hmm was that there's no reason necessarily that he has to come back. Like, yeah. you can still achieve, like, you know, the mission mm -hmm. by staying there. 
Oh, what Ooh, the fuck? That was like an ice yeah. cloud. <laughs> Frozen cloud. In? That doesn't seem good, right? No. Very. Uh, oh, this seems cold. Cold <laughs> planet. That's where the, the guy was, but like. They said that they weren't receiving messages from him yet, or anymore, right? Because he only had a certain amount of, like, stuff to keep him alive. I think they said they could have stretched it out for ten years. Yeah, and, like, who knows how the time I mean, works on this one. I don't know. decades. I don't think that they're losing time, though, here. I think it was just because the other planet was in close proximity to whatever the hell they're calling mm -hmm. the black hole. Oh. Oh, Matt Damon? <laughs> Crossover with the Martian or what? <laughs> They're like, he's a botanist. <laughs> <laughs> Probably didn't expect anybody to ever come back for him. I didn't expect Matt Damon to be in this movie. <laughs> it's cold. Is it good? Can we use it? a message for you from Tom Station. Oh, her dad. Oh, oh, it's sad. And that's depressing oh that gosh, she's not going to see know. her love or whatever, either. Again, I'm sorry to tell you that your father died today. I'm sorry for your loss. This is all a sham. They left us here. I mean, they found a planet here. Yeah, but they're not going to get mm -hmm. brought there. Your father had to find another way to save the human race from extinction. Plan B, a colony. Why keep building those stations? Because he, he knew how hard it would be to get people to work together to save the species mm. instead of themselves. It was, yeah, um, so it was like a ruse. You never want to come here unless you believed you were going to save them. Evolution has oh yet to gosh. transcend that simple That's barrier. So we, we can care deeply, selflessly, about those we know. So all those people knew then this. Mm. What are they hoping to find? Survival. I know, I was going to say they're trying to survive another day. Well, people have a right to know. Man, it won't help. We just have to keep working, same as ever. Isn't that exactly what Professor Rand was manipulating Rand us to? Rand gave up on us. Well, it's like when she was mentioning that whole freaking figuring it out. She was like, you're doing it the wrong way. It was simple. So he was already just dismissing her because he had already known it. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was just all just to, like, get mm -hmm. people to go do the mission, you yeah. know? Okay, go back to the ghost. My dad thought I called it a ghost because I was scared of it. Go back to that book that fucking fell that one day. Hey, cool. Yeah. I have a suggestion for your return journey. That was sad. Have one last crack at the black hole. Oh. What to say there isn't some way that the probe can glimpse the singularity and relay the quantum data. If he's equipped mm. to transmit every form of energy that can pulse. Just when did this probe become... Centaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Throw his ass into the black hole. Hours. 32 hours, yeah? Roger that, Cooper. Now I want to rewatch The Martian. The Martian was a good movie. Mm -hmm. um, is he lying to Matt Damon's character? Or are they just like, they're still gonna go? You have attachments. Even without a family, I can promise you that that yearning to be with other people is powerful. I don't trust Matt Damon. I feel like he's gonna try and keep him here. Don't trust him. Does it improvise well because you can't program a fear of death? Our survival instinct is our single greatest source oh of inspiration. I do not trust Matt Damon. Take you, for example. A father. Don't touch me. You're too close. He's, he's like leading up to something. I'm having trouble completing the Buddha. I don't understand. Matt Damon was doing weird shit. Remember, here. he's like, don't, I don't want to, to yeah. ruin the archives or yeah, whatever. Yeah, he did some weird shit. Nothing worked out the way it was supposed to. Let's go. Did you just become obsessed with this fucking planet and go crazy? He's gonna push him. <gasps> you! He's a... You fucking... Mm, fuck this dude. I can't let you leave with that shit. Once the others realize what this place isn't, we cannot survive here. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm sorry. But yeah. this place isn't? Can't survive here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It wasn't the right planet. They should have gone with love. <laughs> Dad didn't raise you to be this dumb, Tom. Dad didn't raise me. Grandpa did. He's buried out back. 
Oh. oh my gosh, she's too stubborn. Dad's not coming back. He never was coming back. It's up to me. You're gonna save everybody. His dad couldn't do it. Dad didn't even try! Dad just abandoned oh. us! Mm. He's still trying. He's fighting for y'all right yeah. now. Oh, it's just so Dude, sad. Like, if only they knew. Yeah, no, they lived their whole life, like, you yeah. know. Uh, like, they never really knew who he really was. No. But you need to look in that room, though, so. Yeah. Oh, her shit. No, take the fucking book. The book's been calling to you since your dad left that day. No. Stop it! Should have left your ass on Mars. No. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. I'm just gonna steal your helmet then. Fuck you. Oh my gosh. It's like you knew your mission though. This was what you were going for. And not only did he screw them, he technically screwed Plan B too. Because it's like, mm. this isn't viable for anybody. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't watch you go through this. I'm sorry. Oh, you fucking pussy! <laughs> you did it! I'm here for you. Just listen to my voice. <laughs> this is dumb. Kill him! <laughs> fucking kill him! I don't care! Kill him! Is she gonna burn the crops to like force out her brother? To save the family's lives? Get on the ship before fucking uh, Matt Damon comes back down the hill. Mm -hmm. I think he had turned off his uh, intercom though, like so he didn't have to hear him die or whatever. Uh. That's probably why he didn't hear him call. Man, it's lying. Go. They need to get the other guy uh, yeah, and just yeah. go. Matt Damon's a piece of shit. <gasps> Was that like Wait, the what fucking just happened? the kit? Was that kit? Did it self destruct? Is that something that he rigged? Doctor Brand Cooper, there's been an explosion. Doctor Man's coming down. Mm, look at shit. him! There he freaking goes. Oh man, I hope you crash. So like he was just gonna leave them all. Yeah. Oh <laughs> shit! I <laughs> just like just scurried out of there. <laughs> If he takes control of that ship, we're dead. He ruined us? Oh, he is ruined us. Absolutely! He left me for dead. He don't give a fuck. Dr. Mann, please respond! He doesn't know the endurance docking procedure. Well, the autopilot does. Not since Tars disabled it. Oh. No. Nice. What's your trust setting, Tars? <laughs> you go, Tars! Got more humanity than what's his face does. So if it can't dock, it could still damage this shit, right? And like, they won't be able to use it. Auto docking sequence withheld. Override. <laughs> Unauthorized. Mm. <laughs> Hopefully he dies in the process. He like, uh, it, it's just so frustrating. I feel like before NASA sent his ass up there, they should have freaking done a, a psych exam. <laughs> like, if he's like, like by himself for 20 something years or something like that, is he gonna be able to be still sane? Oh. Imperfect contact. Override. Okay, no. It's like you can't override that, like if it's not right. You locked on yet? That really sucks. Imperfectly. <laughs> Dr. Man. Knock him. Hit him. Hit the fucking ship. <laughs> That seems like well, like worse. knock his ass off and then take the thing. Like maybe it'll just break his ship. But what's the alternative? How many places can you dock? Is there only one? He's gonna fucking kill himself if he tries to open this fucking thing. Oh. But if it's like imperfectly connected, though, then what does that mean? Like. I don't know what he said to you, but I'm taking command of the endurance. And then we can talk about completing the mission. Oh my gosh. You don't even know how. This is about all mankind. There is a moment. <gasps> and you're dead. 
Oh my god. And the ship is gonna And it freaking ruined everything. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, this guy. And like that was their freaking ship. I know you have to avoid all the debris. That thing is coming at you. But I mean, what do you even do now? Oh my possible. gosh. No, it's necessary. <laughs> it's going so freaking fast. Endurance is hitting stratosphere. And we also had to gloss over that like Romley just like got blown up and left. Oh my gosh. It's like, what if she blacks out? <laughs> what yeah. if you both black out? Well, no, she, he told Tars, or Case, to do it oh. in that area. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> tell the AI. <laughs> yeah, I was like, tell the non human. <laughs> oh, he looks like he might. We're going to put humanity in AI's freaking hands right <laughs> now. And also, if you dock, then then what? Like, can this little thing still be functional? Honestly, it's impressive he did not black out. Yeah. Bring him to dawn. Pushing out of orbit. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> She's like, what I miss? Killing man engines. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. Dude's good under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> is there a way to fix it? It's like straight out like into a, space. Is there like a button you could push to like seal that part yeah. off from the rest of the ship and repressurize? Huh. The backup generator kicked in, so the system's stable. You're all good. Good. Okay. The eggs are safe. Honestly, I forgot about the eggs. <laughs> Gargantua, pull us down closer to the horizon, and a powered slingshot around, launching us towards Edmund's planet. Manually? That's what I'm here for. Can you get the information? Okay. Three, two, one, mark. Detach. Bye, TARS. TARS! Send that data. Okay, Case. Nice reckless flying. Learn from the master. Ranger two, prepare to. I like Tars better. I would have sent Case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, and he let her go because yeah, her also her lover. Yeah, she loves him. Oh my gosh. Tars, you with me? It's all blackness. Tars. Mm -hmm. You read me over. Because they can't communicate. Eject. Eject. <sighs> what the heck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> What the f <laughs> What is going on? Don't tell me this is a bookcase. Did he push the book? He's the one who fucking pushed the book. Don't go. Oh my gosh. This looks like the back of a bookcase. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So it was him knocking it down the whole time. <laughs> what else can you look at? <laughs> I feel like looking at so much shit. <laughs> no, don't go. Don't go, you idiot. Don't go! Yeah. Yeah. Morse. 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 Morse code. Oh, it was him the whole fucking time. Mm-hmm. 
Hey. Dash. Dash. Break the fucking bookshelf. We don't have time for this. Come on. Why? My dad's stuck in the bookcase. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Just funny because it was his message mm -hmm. to her that she relayed back to him. Yeah. This has to be like the time right when he was about to leave and he knocks off that one book. <laughs> this feels like it turned into like the quantum realm in Ant Man. <laughs> How do you talk to her current self? You've seen that time is represented here as a physical dimension. You have worked out that you can exert a force across space time. Gravity. I sent a message. Affirmative. I mean, you were sending mm -hmm. messages through time. You've got to figure something out, right? The people on Earth are going to die. Think, think, think. They didn't bring us here to change the past. Say that again. They didn't, they didn't bring us here to change the past. The future. Hmm. Oh, Sand. yeah. Mm hmm So he said, we brought ourselves. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> what, Cooper? To save the world. Hmm. All of this. This legit feels like the quantum realm. Mm -hmm. They can't find a specific place in time. They can't communicate. They find a way to tell oh. Just like I found this moment. How? Cool. Love, Tars, love. It's just like Grand said. Love. Mm. It's like what she was talking about. Mm. What are we here to do? Find out, tell her. The watch. Oh, was that why it was like freaking doing that thing? We cut the data into the movement of the second hand. <gasps> mm. Translate the data into Morse and read it to me. Translating data to Morse. Cooper, what if she never came back for it? No. She no. Will. You're also asking questions that are like, what else the hell are you going to do? <laughs> like, I wonder how long that took. Okay, okay putting it together. <laughs> He's getting ready to fight. <laughs> Does he at least get a good confirmation that it worked? And then he's just gonna die. The civilization must evolve past the four dimensions we know. It's all collapsing on itself now. Mm. Oh. At what point was this? This was like when they took off. I think. Oh, oh, it was his hand. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah. What other weird shit happened throughout the movie? <laughs> See, he was the one who kept uh, Matt Damon's ship from docking. <laughs> 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 like, blow up, Matt Damon! <laughs> what the? When, where, and how are you? <laughs> I feel like he's dead. Cooper, Cooper Station. Station. Is named after him. What year is it? I mean, it's been 123 years. So. Well, no, he's 123. Never mind. Yeah. Lazarus <laughs> Endurance. 
Oh, the quote. Oh, wow. whoa. Oh, they built it like that. Yeah. Oh, the, the uh -huh. people. Is that her? I mean, I thought that at the beginning, but... It's almost like a museum. <laughs> oh, Tars! Bring him back to life. You know how much we've been through? Me and an AI saved <laughs> like humanity. 95%. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> 95. Five more percent. Hmm. Where are we going? You already found this planet. You want to find more? Wow, so this is like his, his like uh, distant, or, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah, his family, relatives, yeah. like, like, that's crazy, you never get to see that far. Aww. Aww. And he's like still like young and it's just so crazy. Believe me, they thought that I was doing it all myself. But... <laughs> the watch. Nobody believed me. Because my dad promised me. Aww. And my kids here for me now. You go. No. Where? Maybe Anne Hathaway's like lover wasn't alive, and maybe you can get together. <laughs> <laughs> so, how your son? Is he alive? So weird, like the, all his family that just don't know anything about him. So is he gonna go get her? So that wasn't even the friggin' planet mm. then. Okay, so that sucks. <laughs> I know. In a strange yeah. galaxy. He died. <laughs> Tars in Tars. the back. <laughs> So, are we advanced enough to like be able to send this little ship and mm -hmm. make it back? Are we at like Star Wars level yet? <laughs> okay, um, so with that last little bit, I feel like I'm a little bit confused. Like, was he going to go like to her because the planet obviously was sustainable i mean she was able to take off her her helmet so she could at least breathe there um it seemed like she had a little base mm -hmm. set up i initially thought where he was waking up was like you know the the planet they're already on i was like what is this like cylinder planet um it was like a space it was ship. a spaceship that's just, space station yeah. or whatever i'm i wonder I mean, it's been a lot more years. Maybe they just like advanced to what that was mm -hmm. originally supposed to go up there that Michael Caine was yeah, talking that about. Thing. That's what I always had assumed that yeah. it was like that that they had used like and made. I mean, obviously she was an old woman, so yeah. she could have clearly came up with some sort of plan. But then I think my biggest question that I still don't really fully understand is like, what was the information? I guess it was just the, the way to go, like where to go. I, the information yes. that he even transmitted into the watch. Well, I mean, it's like information that like, you know, transcended like time, which it was interesting. And you know, from a lot of Christopher Nolan films that I've seen, um, and not just like I would say the Dark Knight trilogy. Well, actually, kind of in the Dark Knight trilogy in the last episode. I mean, spoilers if you haven't seen the Dark Knight trilogy. But you know, like where they thought that Batman died, and then Michael Caine, ironically mm -hmm. enough, was off Alfred, and he saw him and and Hathaway yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. eating dinner in like I think Italy or something like that. I forgot what uh, what country it was. But, um, I mean, I want to think that this is all positive, you know, that it ended positively and that so. he went and found Brand and or just went to they be lived with together. Her. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, you know? I mean, I mean, not hoping for this movie came out freaking eight years ago, <laughs> but I'm, you know, like uh, another freaking uh, Christopher Nolan film that 
spoilers, inter uh, spoilers for Inception, but you know, it was left a little ambiguous, you know, how it ended, you know, a little topper, like did it fall over or not? I always like to think that it did fall over and that he was actually there. Um, I feel like, you know, this one is a little less up for interpretation in my opinion, because obviously the space station's there. I feel like they're making their way to that yeah. planet. It's really just about like, did he actually get there or not? And did they get to spend time together? I like to think that they did. You know, Christopher Nolan has a very um, distinct like way he makes films they're very visually appealing the story is usually intricate there is usually some sort of like not full-on twist at the end but like uh, a reveal you know and that was the case here when he pressed eject when he went through the freaking black hole I was like what the fuck are you ejecting yourself into you're about to die uh, but obviously he ended up in like this freaking weird like quantum realm looking place um, and then he said like this is what we would be able to like make in the future so it's humans it's, that invented yeah. this technology well, it almost makes you wonder if they mm. knew that one day he would have to use something like that so maybe yeah. who knows how long had to invent that for him to be able to use it I mean that has to be so much further into the future yeah. because I feel like the people from Earth had to transfer themselves to this new planet and they had to develop even further. So that's probably like so many no. years in the future that they were like, okay, well, we built this technology, but we just have no way of communicating. Mm -hmm. And then he was the person who was able to communicate. But his daughter, like, you know, had her own family. I'm assuming with a uh, freaking uh, Eric Foreman. <laughs> um, and, you know, she lived her whole life and it's. It's kind of weird and sad and like, but it's still happy in the same yeah. like light just because you know that he actually got to, you know, have that last interaction mm -hmm. with her. But like, minus like him leaving, that was like their last interaction before like she lived her life. Yeah. So it was very sad to think about all the time that was missed. I think my favorite part of the movie um, is like the whole time thing. It's yeah. like the relativity thing. Like, you know, how he was a hundred and something years old because he still looked the same age when he left, but yeah. then everybody else was super old now of that time. And it's just, the, I, I always thought that that part of it was like the coolest thing, but the craziest part too. I really like this movie a lot. And yeah. um, you know, there's been, I think there's actually another Christopher Nolan movie coming out soon with mm -hmm. Killian Murphy in it. I don't know what it's about though. There's another movie that we never saw, Tenet. But let us know if you want us to react to that movie because I'm down to watch more Christopher yeah, Nolan. Yeah, he makes great movies. I really, really want to get good. Casey to watch The Prestige because yeah. I feel like she'll really enjoy that movie. This was a fun rewatch for me because I watched it so long ago, probably when I was in high school still. Um, so there was a lot of things I didn't remember, like kind of, and this is also a really long movie. So I feel like, like I remembered certain main plot points. Like I remembered the first planet where they lost the 20 something years. Like I completely forgot about Matt Damon's character <laughs> and like what happened there. And then yeah. I, I did not remember how it ended at all. So really, yeah. So it was kind of cool. Like I remember the beginning part a little bit, but then some of that was fuzzy. So I guess I didn't remember as much of this movie as I thought I, I did. I mean, when you watched it in 2014, yeah. that's eight years ago. That's so a long time. It was cool. This was a good time for a rewatch because it's like I got to, you know, re-experience it. But still, I knew that I liked this movie and I like it just as much again. So this was really fun and it makes me want to go back into sci-fi movies again. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone.